guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I have filmed a video. Honestly, I've just kind of been like uninspired. I lost a lot of motivation to be filming, but I love filming and I love creating and I'm so grateful for the 3,000 of you that are subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you, so I want to be making more content for you guys. If you hear some noises in the background, that is my son. He is playing with my makeup and he's not supposed to do that. Redirect. Oh my goodness, did you just Well, that's not good. <laughs> I have no idea how this video is gonna go because he has been very attached to me recently. I don't know how long he's gonna go without crying, so I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. Like three months ago, I did a poll on my Instagram. Hold on, he might need to just be right next to me this whole time. You sit right here with mommy. Okay, I think that's better. He's gonna be in the corner right here playing. Like three months ago, I did a poll on my Instagram and on my YouTube, and I asked you which Wish products I should try. And there was an, an overwhelming amount of people that wanted me to try Wish products under a dollar. Now, if you can tell by the title of this video, that's not exactly what happened. I ordered like 30 things under a dollar from Wish but I didn't realize that things at that price, they have like a limited amount. So you have to be one of the very first people to order it. I like didn't make the cut, so they like took all my money, but then I had to go get my money refunded. It was really strange. But anyways, now I'm doing Wish products under $5 because that's like the best I could do. I ordered these like two months ago and I have no idea what is gonna be in these packages so this is gonna be really, really fun. I will include the pictures of the products and the prices on the screen somewhere because I'm filming with my phone and I can't look at my phone while I'm doing that so. Basically, I need to get some camera equipment. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. I think we should start with the big one. So I have two big packages. He is playing with one of them, so I'm gonna do this one instead. I have, I have no idea what this could possibly be. I'm so, I'm so nervous. Okay, wait. There's a bag inside of a big bag. There's two. I don't know what these are. Let's open the first little package that was in there. Are you gonna play with that? You can play with that? Is that fun? <gasps> I remember what this is. I don't even picture. This is one of those masks that looks like a face. I don't know which one they sent me. Are these both masks? I thought I only got one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I will say for how cheap this was, although masks are kind of cheap anyways, it feels like it's nice. Like it doesn't feel like it'll be itchy or anything. It has like the adjustable, straps, which I appreciate because my head is very small and masks do not fit me. Let's go ahead and, and try it on. Okay, let me get it nice and adjusted. Oh. I'm so sad because I thought it was gonna look realistic, but the features are way too big. I mean, this is my chin. And look at the bridge of my nose compared to how wide I mean, I guess it's still funny. Like it'd be a fun gag gift, but I kind of wanted, oh, I got makeup on it. Oh. I kind of wanted it to look realistic. Oh well, that was kind of a bust. I think I would give this like a five out of 10 because it's funny. Like honestly, I wouldn't ever buy it. Next, okay, no idea what this is. I got colored eyeshadow? Okay, well the packaging is kind of pretty, honestly. You can't have the little pieces, baby. That will make you joke. Do you wanna play with the mask? 
see if he likes the mask. Do you like it? I'm, oh, it's like kind of dirty. Can you see that? Ew. Um, it's like dirty on the back too. So it looks like you just, oh, pull it. Let's do a swatch. This is supposed to be for eyeshadow? Okay, it's actually kind of pretty. I'm very afraid to put like a under $5 makeup product from Wish on my eyes. And I'm not sure, is it supposed to be like a, um, a cut crease? It honestly looks more like a blush and a highlighter than an eyeshadow. So maybe I'll try it as both. But that's what that looks like. It is kind of pretty actually. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this is being filmed like a week and a half later. <gasps> I like barely touched it. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to the camera so you guys can really see. I think that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pink as the crease and the white as the lid and we'll see. Oh wait, that's not working at all. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's like burning my eye. Ow! Ow, ow. Okay. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't put that on your eye. It did like nothing. Ow. I should probably take that off. Let's try it as a blush highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda like pull the Total fail, wait. Let me just, um. <laughs> oh my god, ah, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Highlighter. <laughs> Let's put some on the tip of the nose, up the bridge, maybe a little bit on my cupid's bow. Okay, well, that is a complete fail. Are you serious right now? Okay, try and blend this in. Wait, that's actually really pretty. I actually really like this color. Let me use a beauty blender. Um, I actually feel like the colors are pretty. The formula is not great. It's super sticky, like I don't, I don't like the way it feels on my fingers. I don't like the way it feels on my face. Also, it completely fell apart and it burned my eyes. So I would rate this a two out of 10. The only reason it's not a zero is because I actually feel like the colors are kind of pretty, but I would never, I would never buy this again because I got one, one use out of it and it completely fell apart. So, um, yeah, two out of 10. Okay, on to the next one. Okay. okay, you can play with this and you can play with the mask. Which would you like? Oh, he likes the mask. Let's do this one next. I have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to be. I need to go on my phone and figure out what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a neck massager. What? On the website, it these things are like red and it looks like they're supposed to like vibrate or move or something, but there's like no, it's just a piece of fabric. 
with Velcro and it doesn't even look comfortable. Hold on, let me try and put this on my neck. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this on my neck. Oh my gosh, this is not. <laughs> Do I like push them or? No. Nothing is happening. It's just an itchy piece of fabric on my neck and it's kind of choking me. Also, if I had a neck much bigger than this, I don't think it would fit. Whose neck is this supposed to fit? That is a zero out of 10. It is so stupid and even though it was cheap, I'm mad that I spent my money on it, so. Zero out of 10. Let's do this one next. It feels interesting. Don't know what it is. Let's go ahead and cut that open. Oh my gosh. I forgot I got these. These are magnetic eyelashes. Now I have tried magnetic eyelashes before. Um, I do not think they work. I've never found one that truly works. Already I can tell that these are not going to work because, let me see if I can get it open. Because the parts that have magnets are only on the edges. I don't know if you can even really see, but they're only on the edges and there's none in the middle. So even if they can properly clip together on the edges, you have the middle of your lashes that are just like popping off. Also, these are way too long for my eyes and there's no way for me to trim them because the magnets are literally right at the end. I know for a fact, these are going to be terrible. I'm going to genuinely try to put these on to the best of my ability, but I'm gonna try and hold this on top and then place this one underneath. Okay. Let me try and like position them better. Maybe I'll have better luck with the other eye. What? Okay, okay, I think I got it. That looks awful. I can't, I can't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the, um, let me give you like, let me really sell it for you. The finished look. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Also, please excuse my really messy room, but um, this is, this is the look. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, let's just take these off. I rate these a zero out of 10. They're awful. The lashes themselves are really crappy, um, and obviously the magnets don't work. Do not buy these. I tried it so that you don't have to. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, next. He's clearly busy with that one, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you can't have the thing I'm looking at. You can have the mask. Or you can play with a toy, like a normal child. <coughs> No, nope, he just wants the plastic. What is that? I'm very confused. Oh my gosh, wait, I remember what it is. It's an eyeliner stamp. Look at that. Okay, so you like put the product on the end here and then you stamp it on your eye and it makes like a perfect wing. I don't think that these work. I've never tried one, but I really highly doubt that this is gonna work, but I'm kind of excited to try it because that does look like a very perfect wing shape, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline eyeliner and I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on my eye. Oh. <sighs> wow. 
that was a complete, complete fail. I feel like maybe this like silicone material is, it just soaks up the product. Like look at how much product is left. Barely any of it got on my eye. Okay, let's do the other eye. Maybe we'll have better luck, but. Doesn't dry so fast. Okay, that one definitely worked better. I feel like you could easily fill in the rest of it. I'm gonna see how easy it is to just like fill in the rest of it. Okay, um, <laughs> it's a little bit thicker than I like, but it's not, it's honestly not that bad. I feel like if you do it really fast so it doesn't have as much time to dry, um, it's a good like stencil. It's easy to just kind of like fill in the rest. So I think I'd probably give this like a five out of 10. I don't love it. I would never use it again, but I feel like for a beginner, it might be a good tool to use or it also might just make it much more difficult. So I'm gonna finish this one and then we're gonna move on to the next product. Let's go ahead and get this one open. He is trying to crawl onto my lap and back into my uterus. Next is this, it's very floppy, so I don't really know what it could possibly be. It's purple. Oh, I remember what this is. These are little like, are you good? These are little gel things that you put on your nails so that when you do your nail polish, you don't get nail polish all over your finger. I don't know if these are gonna work. I feel like they could if used properly. So I'm optimistic. I have my nail polish and I'm struggling to get these open. Okay, ta-da! I'm gonna go ahead and do, they're very flimsy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Aw, so sticky, ah! Okay, let's let's do another one. Okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. I got it, but it doesn't look like the picture. There is no way I'm doing these on all of my nails. I'm just gonna try it on one. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and let you see. Should I do it this way? So I should be able to just like there. So you can see that it kind of got on the purple, but I should be able to peel that off once it dries and it should be like perfect nail polish. Let's go ahead and remove it. It worked! Look at it! That looks good, right? I will say, um, applying these, <laughs> it's not coming off. Got it. <laughs> Unless you're like a master at applying these, I don't think that they're worth it. Like I'd rather just like paint my nails and be careful or like go in with nail polish remover afterwards and clean up the edges. But I mean, they work. I'd probably give them like a six out of 10. I'm definitely not gonna use them again. Um, I just think they're sticky and hard to apply, but they work. They get the job done. I just feel like it would take more time to sit and apply all of those to my fingers than it would to just like paint my nails and be like careful. <laughs> so six out of 10, not a big fan, but I feel like some people might like these. Last one. Um, my baby is getting very fussy. I don't know why, because he was just fed and he was just changed and he just woke up from a nap. So, you know, mom life. What are you? Oh, they're sunglasses. I remember getting these. Okay, okay. They look super cute. Wait, wait just a second. These are adorable. Like what? 
O I am obsessed with these. Okay, I love them. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. You might see me um, take an Instagram picture in these because I'm completely obsessed. They are amazing. 10 out of 10. What a way to end this video. These are, I highly recommend. They seem like good quality too. Highly recommend with how unbelievably cheap they are. Like if you just need a cute little pair of sunnies, do you remember back in like 2017 when these tiny little sunglasses were like the trend? I took so many pictures of them. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the best. Oh my gosh. They're cute on everyone. Anyways, that is the end of this video. I'm sorry that it was so chaotic and so all over the place, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me. I promise I'm gonna try harder to post regularly. If you like this video and you wanna support me, I'm a very, very small YouTuber, and if you wanna support me, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, you know all the things to do. Wait a second. This week's video shout out goes to, and I know I'm going to mispronounce this, I think it's Adele Favor. I will leave her comments right here, but thank you so, so much for commenting on my videos and showing me some love and support. If you would like to be in a video shout out, make sure you leave a comment down below. Also, make sure you're subscribed. I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you want to help me along my YouTube journey, make sure you do that. I love you guys. I will see you probably soon, hopefully. Bye.